Hey everybody, Greg from Guardian RFID, back to answer another question from the GuardianRFID.com website. Today's question, when should I put wristbands on my inmates? Well, that's an excellent question. We're gonna deal with this as though you don't have the Guardian system, but you're just putting identification on your offenders in general. Here's my answer to that. I would say you put wristbands on offenders that are gonna get dressed out and are going to be staying in your jail for an extended period of time. And by extended period of time, I mean more than 24 hours. Any of our offenders who are gonna get bonded out, who are turn and burn, or maybe just going to court the next day and you know they're gonna get released, don't take the time and energy to put wristbands on those folks. I think it takes too much time and wasted resources for somebody who's gonna leave within 24 hours. Anybody who's gonna stay in your facility, no bonds or people with higher bonds, or those you know that aren't gonna make bond in general, go ahead and make them a wristband as soon as they've been housed. And whether that's being housed right there in your booking area or in general population in general. As soon as you have them in your jail management system, go ahead and make them a wristband so you can identify them. We wanna do that for a couple of reasons. One, any inmate has the potential to be a problem inmate, and that's either mental health consumer or somebody who's just acting a fool. Either way, we wanna track that inmate any way we can, and the more identification processes we have along the way, the better we have the opportunity to track them and track their movements. If they're a medical condition person, where there's somebody who come in who has a series of medical issues, then we wanna track, we wanna know who they are so we can track when they go to medical, when they see a nurse, when they see a doctor. If they're a mental health consumer, we wanna track those behaviors. We wanna know how often have they been checked on because it is our job to ensure the safety and security of that offender. So the more identification tools we have on them earlier in the process, the more every officer and every volunteer and every person who comes in contact with that offender can know who that offender is so we can log those movements, we can track those movements, we can track those behaviors, and we can show what we've done to ensure the safety and security of that offender. So it's important we put that wristband or that identification on early in the process, but if they're gonna be somebody, like I said, who's gonna be just turned and burned, somebody who's gonna get booked and then released, somebody maybe less than 24 hours, we probably don't need to give them that extra identification piece. If you have any other questions or have any other comments or concerns, feel free to reach out to us at support at guardianrfid.com. Thanks for watching, and as always, get your team home safe.